New brand alert. Well, kind of. I already had a pair, but I got the new colorway. So here we go. Yo, what's good guys? My name is Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got the review on the Ethix LG1. So real quick, before we talk about the shoes, this is the box that they come in. They do come in the shipping box. The shipping box is the shoe box. So they're trying to cut down on waste. We've seen this across multiple brands, but Ethics is doing it as well. Inside the box, you've got what the brand stands for and everything. It's also on the outside, but it's in both areas. They do come wrapped in the paper. And this particular one came with a, a sticker. I don't remember a sticker coming with the other ones, but maybe they did and I just don't remember. And then you've got that cool thing down there as well. I do wish that it was an actual like shoe sketch but seeing that in there is still cool nonetheless now this colorway is brand new i don't even see them on their website right now and i think that these are freaking wild so uh this is the superhero colorway kind of supermanish. i dig it I'm clearly a fan of that kind of stuff t-shirt available now and uh yeah i just think that these are really cool not only are they really cool but they are made by two of my favorite people in sneakers and everything one of them is my good friend langston galloway i believe he's currently playing for the indiana pacers this is his his shoe, the LG1, Langston Galloway one, yeah. It. Not the first player to create his own shoe, but I will say that he probably has created like the best shoe. Like out of all the NBA guys that have made their own stuff, there's no corners cut. Like this is one of the best shoes that you can get. It is not a name brand shoe. Like this, you would never even know that this was an independent thing. Second thing is that the shoe was designed by another friend of mine. His name is Brett Goliff. I think that this is really, really cool. And I love seeing new stuff. You know what I mean? Like new brands. I love Nike. I love Jordan. I love Adidas. I love uh, Reebok and Puma. I love them all, but seeing new stuff, it just something about it just kind of like warms my heart one quick thing too they do come with extra laces at least this pair did now this colorway is a little bit different than the original colorway as well as the other two colorways that are currently available so there's three available on their site this i believe is going to be released but just not yet oh yeah october 8th so it's available now is today the 8th? No, but oh. I'm just saying, by the time this video is made into perfection, they'll be available. <laughs> that is supreme confidence right there. I don't even do that. I try to stay as humble as possible, but not her. Oh, I'm humble, but I also know when I do a damn good job. That is the opposite of being <laughs> humble, my friend. Anyways, this is the launch colorway. This is the ones that I have hooped in. Um, it's a great shoe. I do have one complaint about them. I'll get into that in a little bit. But first, I just want to talk about this one. The outsole is nuts, by the way. It does not look like this pattern does not look like it would grip anything, but it does. And it's awesome. Like these guys right here, we're on some, it's still got leftovers in there. Yeah. And it's freaking great. I, I'm tr trying so hard not to cuss because I know that Sabrina doesn't like that, but there's going to be a few of them in there. We'll believe them out. But yeah, this stuff right here is really, really cool. Basically, when you flex, it opens the traction up. So like you always have contact with the floor, which is really interesting, uh, especially since the pattern itself is kind of flat. So if you're looking for good traction, these actually have it. So I really, really dig that. The compound of the rubber feels great on all the colorways that I've had, at least these two. Also, I love the little split design right there because it allows the compression of the foam underneath to really move. Speaking of the foam, it's just EVA. It's not anything crazy or anything like that. Uh, it feels better the more that you wear it just because it needs a little bit of break in time. So my first wear was a little stiff. Hey. 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 But throughout the night that I was playing them, that first night, it was already feeling better. And then every night that I've played in them since, it's just gotten better, especially in the heel. The heel is weird. Like that was probably like the hardest area. And now it's one of the most comfortable. I don't know why, it just, it is. There's also a torsion plate as well. You can see it right here on the lateral side, but it's also poking through on the medial. It does run underfoot as well. You can also see that down there, a little split and everything. So yeah, like I was saying, there's no corners cut on these. Like this is like a solid ass shoe for a, a independent NBA guy to being like hey f all this stuff i'm not going to sign with nike or whomever i'm going to do my own thing usually when you get that you can tell we're like oh they were under a budget i don't know what these cost but they feel like they cost more than they actually retail for like i've made my own shoe and i know how much just the tooling cost is alone and it's really expensive like extremely expensive that 
is the one reason why I have my complaint though, is that the sizes for these, they start at a size nine. So there's no sizes smaller than that. And the sizing is a little bit big as far as how they run. I normally am a true size nine and these to me feel like a nine and a half. I wish that I could have gone down half a size. That just isn't an option, unfortunately. So if you are an eight or an eight and a half, I would probably just not even recommend these just based off of that alone, unless you're just trying to wear them casually. But if you wear a nine and a half, go with the size nine, you should be good to go. I think they'll fit you perfectly. Now the upper is one of the things that's really interesting on both pairs because this is part of the ethics brand language where they're trying to be more ethical and be less wasteful and stuff like that. So there's no real leathers on here. It's all synthetics, but it's actually really nice synthetics. This particular colorway has patent leather on there, synthetic patent leather. And then the upper itself is like a nylon base. This colorway and the other two that I've noticed, uh, these are my favorites. It's synthetic suede along the entire upper. So the toe rand as well as the main body or the main build is synthetic suede. It feels really, really nice, especially on foot. Like when you start moving in these, like the way that it flexes and molds to your foot and everything, I just absolutely love it. Also the internal lacing system is what saved this shoe for me. Like normally when a shoe fits this big for me, like it's sloppy and all that stuff, but this lacing system kept my ass locked into the back. So even though I had room in the toe from here over, it was super secure. So I didn't have like fit issues outside of them just not fitting. You know what I mean? Like they didn't feel sloppy or feel like sometimes when you get a shoe that's too big, you're just like, yo, I can't do this. That was not the thing with these, which is weird because normally it is, but I would still recommend going down half a size if possible. One of the other caveats to having an NBA player make his own shoe is that they are made available in large sizes because that's like most of his friends wear past a size 12, you know what I mean? So I believe they go up to a size 16, which is cool. So all you big footers, if you want to try something different, I know that a lot of you guys were interested in Chinese based brand shoes and unfortunately they don't make them in that size, but these are. So you can try it out, try something new. Now the back area is super padded and very well molded. So this stuff right here like cups your foot and your Achilles in such a nice way that like it just feels awesome. I don't know how to explain the way that the rear section of a shoe fits when they fit really nice, but like a Kobe 5, a Kobe 6, something like that, where when you put them on, they just kind of hug your foot. You know what I mean? Like that's how these feel, which is something that I think is very important, especially for basketball. I know that lifestyle wears couldn't care less and that's cool. These are not lifestyle shoes. These are performance shoes. The insole is an ortholite style insole. I don't believe this is actual ortholite, but it's pretty close. This is obviously removable. So if you wanted something a little bit better than that, you can always swap that out for whatever it is that you might wear. Uh, very similar materials inside as well as the strobe lining. So you've got extra cushion. So like this is comfortable. The other layer of that same foam is comfortable. And then the EVA midsole also comfortable given some breaking time. And with all that being said, if you have tried out the Ethics LG1, sound off below in the comment section and let us know your thoughts. Again, and I thought that the traction was probably the best feature other than the lockdown itself, which is really surprising because they didn't fit right. The materials are another cool thing where even though they are synthetics, they don't feel like cheap synthetics like you get from the bigger brands. These are actually like nice quality synthetics. You know, I'm a big stickler from the materials and everything, obviously. What? I know, big surprise. This is brand new information. Somebody just watched that episode of Friends. <laughs> I remembered that. <laughs> but I'm not against synthetics. I just want to make that clear. There's levels to it. This is a nice pair of synthetic. This is a nice synthetic. I don't like the cheap stuff. That's all. Cause these shoes are expensive, man. I want to feel like I got my money's worth. And with that being said, we will catch you on the next one. So until then, have a good one.